Hello everyone, Dr. Victoria Sperbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center where here in Massachusetts. It is time for tarot scopes and we're gonna be doing the tarot scopes for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of December. Now Sagittarius is the month uh, that the sun spends its most time in Sagittarius. So it's a Sagittarius month. Um, and of course, Sagittarius is a very optimistic sign. And so it's a fun time, like Sagittarius is fun. And usually when the sun's in Sagittarius, that's when we have all the uh, parties, like all the parties, the office parties, the house parties, the uh, sometimes family parties. I know Michael's family is getting together. We do a Yankee swap. Everybody buys like a $25 gift. We have so much fun. Um, and, uh, you know, if, if you're unlucky, you get the worst gift, but it's all in fun and it's a lot of laughs, right? So um, that's the Sagittarius part. And then, then the sun moves into Capricorn, right? And then uh, right, right at the, the solstice point. And then a few days later, we have Christmas. So we have the family that we have to deal with. That's very sort of Capricornian parental. Uh, and then Capricorn sort of goes, spends more time in um, in January, and that's when we look at our uh, our credit card statements and we start to panic, <laughs> as Capricorns are known to do when things have when frivolous things have happened. So uh, if you have some cap, if you have some Sag in your chart, you probably have some Capricorn as well. Uh, so you might feel this inside of yourself, like always wanting to like go the extra mile, have the extra, the extra tinsel on the tree, but sort of thinking, oh, am I being a little bit too much? But if you don't have to have that, um, then party on Sagittarius. Now, of course, we're just coming out of eclipse season. We have eclipse season in November um, in your house of um, your 12th house in your sixth house. So that is, um, those are the karmic houses that, that we're associated with. So it's very possible that you let go of uh, something, some, something that um, you, you, a habit that you have formed that isn't to your best, isn't for your best interest, like your own self undoing, south node in uh, Scorpio. And then that north node in the sixth house in Taurus says you have to pay attention to your physical body. You have to start taking care of yourself. Uh, you have to start moving in the direction of what is most important to you. So if you value sort of regular medical checkups, then you need to do that. If you value sort of more um, sort of esoteric healing, whatever it is, you need to move in that direction. It's important that you... Uh, well, it's important that it works and it's important that uh, to a certain extent you believe in it because Sagittarius is a sign that has to have um, and it has to be inspired. Without us, inspiration, Sagittarius feels lost. A lot of times they'll go on vacation in order to get that vision. They need, you know, time at the seashore or time uh, sitting in the woods or whatever it is, and it helps them to get some perspective on their life and with Sagittarius, if you are a Sagittarius, the best thing you can do in a situation uh, when you can't figure out what to do is to separate yourself from it and get as much perspective and uh, distance from it so that you can see it in the bigger picture. You can see it in the bigger picture, which is kind of the way you guys sort of work anyway. So, um, we're gonna take a look at Sag and uh, I'm using the top deck. And let's see what's ahead for you, Sag. Okay, so we have coming up first is the hermit. So you're feeling introspective. You also feeling like perhaps you wanna stay inside. Now, if you happen to live in New England, like I do, it's probably not a bad idea because it's cold. But say you're from Australia and it's beautiful and the sun's coming out and all of that stuff. Um, the hermit card is 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 sort of self-imposed isolation, to a certain extent. Usually, you know, sometimes it's jail, but then rarely do I call it that. But it it can be. You can feel restricted, but it's an opportunity for you to 
be introspective, find the wisdom that lies within. Um, it's in the tree of life. It's on a path that connects the heart chakra with the throat chakra. And there's a discernment that comes with this path. The, the hermit card is, the, uh, is associated with Virgo. Virgo is all about discernment. So you have to be discerning about what wisdom you want to share with others. Um, not everybody is ready to hear the wisdom that you share. Not everybody is at that level. And so sometimes when you say something, you put it out there, you figure, oh, well, everybody's going to want to hear this. Um, sometimes they don't necessarily want to hear that. And, you know, um, there's that, uh, the joke that I like to tell the foot and mouth disease, which is, is something that um, Sagittarius will sometimes, they'll say it. Uh, bluntly, not in any way to make somebody feel bad about them, but they'll make an observation and sometimes they forget. Um, but as we start the month, we're feeling very introspective. We may be, you know, that old saying from uh, Marlena Dietrich, uh, who I think might have been a Virgo, might have been, I want to be alone, right? So you may feel that. Let's see what challenges that in December. Oh, the Knight of Cups, people coming over, wanting to have your time, wanting to drink tea with you, having big ideas. This is, this is um, um, aspirational ideas. You may have um, somebody in your life that the, the Knights are often associated with sons. And uh, so you may want to be isolated, have time with your own thoughts and study and stuff. But there's a younger man that comes in that requires some attention. And so that may be taking you away from what it is you would really prefer to do. Underneath it all, we have the nine of pentacles. This, sent, this says to me that you have a um, strong sense of foundation. This is a, a, a wonderful foundational card. In fact, this sits in the, on the Sephiroth Yisad known as foundation, and it is a foundation in earth. So uh, you're, you have good standing. You are on stable ground right now. Let's see what was in the past. So we have the um, Sagittarius card. This is the temperance. So you've done quite a bit of healing. You've spent a lot of time um, going through a healing process. And this requires some temperance. It requires you not to get caught up in extremes. So maybe you wanted to work harder than you could, but maybe your physical body said, no, you can't do that, you know, stuff like that. So, um, but the, but the, the healing has happened. And this is also a card of spiritual initiation and associated with the path of the mystic. And so you may very well had a recent mystical experience um, that you, and now with the hermit in the immediate future, you're trying to figure out what that mystical experience might mean um, for your everyday life. In the sky, we have the Ace of Swords. This is the sword of truth, the sword of truth, the sword of truth and justice. It is over your head. If you are in alignment and discerning and in good standing, you have nothing to worry about. But if you're a criminal, you might have a little bit more to worry about. But uh, this is about the truth coming out uh, and decisions being made. Your immediate future, we have the tower. So there's some sort of illumination here. There's some sort of disruption. Tower doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have a terrible uh, time. The tower requires us to be who we are. It requires us to remember that we are not simply uh, earthlings living an earthly experience, but we have a connection to higher vibrational forces, our higher self, our higher mind, our spiritual selves. That connection is not ever lost, but sometimes we forget it's there and we go on our merry way and we do what we need to do. And all of a sudden the rug gets pulled out from under us and you're like, what did I do? I did everything right. I did that, I did this. Yes, that may very well be true, but the tower always invites a new level of understanding and awareness. So if you're walking through life aware, 
the towers can be less traumatizing if you're totally unaware, then the tower becomes that, that point where you go, oh, she, I'll let you finish it. Um, but of course, on the other side of that is the true self. Who are you really? And that's what the tower asks us. Who are you really? How you're seen from the outside, pretty practical, the princess of discs, practical, hardworking, learning the ropes when it comes to manifestation, learning the importance of patience, learning the, 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 um, the value of persistence, all of those things. This is a Virgo card. And so it really, it really sort of says in this position that in order to really share what you know, you have to apply it to yourself first. So if you know it's healthier to do this, this, and that, uh, and you're telling people do this, this, and that, if you're not doing it for yourself. Wow, that was weird. There was a big bang. Huh. Um, if you're not doing it for yourself, then you, you have no business saying it. <laughs> All right, uh, domestic situation. Yeah, there's a little strife in your domestic situation. Somebody is unhappy. Um, the, the five of, of wands, of all the fives, the five of wands is probably in its way the least traumatic only because um, it can create a lot of um, creative energy. The, the, the actual strife and the, and the, and the argumentation and the, the fire. Uh, so there's just something is going on in your home, in your domestic situation that's creating strife. And maybe that's connected to the tower. Maybe you see for the first time the pattern that why your, your, your home is in strife, why, why your situation is in strife. You see, you see the issue. And of course, then you need to apply your knowledge and your wisdom to it. Hopes and fears is a truce. I would say that's a hope. You would like things to calm down. Let's see what is the outcome. All right, we have the Knight of Swords as an outcome. Generally, this card can be somebody who creates a lot of uh, chaos. But in this deck, I always feel like this is a little bit more of um, a question of getting perspective, stepping back from things, getting a higher perspective. This guy is, it's like he's, he's up with the birds here. He's got like a helicopter helmet, right? Helicopter parent. Um, and so... It's, it's about swift action with good perspective. So that's what you have to do. Whatever comes up, you need to act swiftly and have the, have the discernment and the distance from it in order to know what the best thing is to do. And then we have the success card after that, the moon. So somebody um, can be emotionally unstable here. So be aware of that. This can be a little bit of lunacy. It can be bipolar. It's it's that it's that energy where there's there's great ups and downs. And the key to the moon is not to get caught up in those things, right? To realize that there are two sides to everything. The moon has that energy of duality. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. And just like as the moon moves through the sky, if you see the moon moving through the sky, it does this. And so there's going to be dips and there's going to be crests and there's going to be dips. So, so there's both in these, in these cards here, they speak of both um, success and yet there's still maybe some emotional stuff um, that may even trigger you, that may even trigger you. Okay, underneath it all, we have the high priestess. We have debauchery and we have virtue. So what I wanna say here is there's a secret that is gonna be uh, revealed that may be what causes the tower moment for you. It is very possible that somebody that you know uh, may have trouble with drugs and alcohol. It's not unusual with the way things are that people choose drug and alcohol as an easy way out of their 
distress, right? Just get high or just have a drink and, and all your problems go away. The only problems with drug and alcohol is it stimulates this, and this is not what you need. This is not what the other person needs. So, uh, but we do have coming up as virtue here, the last card underneath. And so there's, there's a chance for success here because what needed to be seen was seen and you did what you needed to do to get to the other side of that. So that's pretty heavy for your birthday month. Well, you know, unless of course you're a November Sagittarius, but still. So uh, if there's somebody in your life that seems to be maybe doing stuff that is out of character, or you're kind of like, what's this about? Um, there could be an, an, an issue with addiction. So just, just be aware of that. And hopefully this is helpful for you. Uh, have yourself a wonderful month. Uh, you, of course, will get through this like you get through everything with the perspective and the discernment and the wisdom that you have. You have been through the fire. You have been through the trial. And you will make it to the other side of this um, better and um, more enlightened. And in the process helping somebody you love, I think. All right, guys, take care, everyone. Namaste.